I want to tell you that it is all right. We're supposed to be in the church. It's supposed to be. It's a, it's a good place to be in the sanctuary. Because That's right. It's the house of the Lord. Lord. Mm-hmm. Yes. When we when we do what we're supposed to do in the house of the Lord, then I believe we probably can get back to accountability. Mm-hmm. But what has happened? The office has been abused so yeah. that the Christians. I mean, and I'm talking to Christians right now. I'll get to the non-Christians in a minute. But the Christians, some Christians have gotten so tired of it. They're just tired of it. Mm. And I want to encourage that Christian today, amen, to come on back, man. Come oh, on yeah. back, sister. Yeah. Don't give up on God. Take your eyes off of the man. Mm-hmm. Take your yeah. eyes off of me. Take your eyes off that brother, that sister that has caused you, your heart to get hard. Mm. Because that's not what it was about anyway. Right. And we know that in the scriptures, that's why Jesus came down in the temple. He saw that the people had started doing their own thing. So that's who we should put our eyes on. Oh, yeah. The light of Jesus. Oh, yeah. And take our eyes off of man. Yeah. And when I had to learn that as a young Christian a long time ago, because it's easy to do. We look at the preaching, we look at uh, prominent people to stand out before us, mm-hmm. and we believe in them. Mm-hmm. We keep it real. We really believe in them. We believe that they're living right, they're doing right, mm-hmm. and when they mess up. And lose us, just break our heart. All right. And a lot of us don't want to go back to nobody by the church no more. You just get tired and sick of that stuff. Uh-huh. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Where you see it and you just, man, everywhere I go, uh-huh. who makes dinner? Who who doing it right? Uh-huh. You don't know which way to turn. Do I go left? Do I do right? What what I do? Yeah. Uh-huh. But if you if you if you come to that point in your life and your Christian fellowship and walk with God, I want to encourage you to just be still. Mm, yes. He's still and know yes. that God is still on the throne. Yes. He's yes. still and know that you have him on the inside. Of yes. yes. Because if you get too far out there and you get too mad, you'll do something that you wish you hadn't done. That's right. And I want to encourage you, don't give up. Mm. Don't give up the fight. Don't you give up on God. Yes. Because it was him who had made you. It, is him, it was him who had made us who we are today. Mm-hmm. Don't give up on but we got to get back to accountability. Oh, yes. There's nothing wrong with uh, uh, my brother seeing me. If you see me in the street doing something, please come tell me. Uh-huh. Please come say, because I want to make it to heaven one day. Oh, yes. That's my ultimate goal. What about you? Yes. What are we really trying yes. to do? What are we really trying to do? Yes. It's not about this stuff that we're doing, the stuff we see. It's about making it to heaven. All right. Don't you want to go there one day? Don't you want to go to that place? Amen. Because I, I, I took a shower this morning, pretty God. And I'll tell you what, I, I accidentally turned the water on just a little hot. And, 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 and have you ever been there when, you, when it hits you just and it's too hot? And, and man, you think I thought about hell immediately. When that hot water hit me, I said, oh God, I, I don't want to go to hell one day. I don't want to be in that place where it's that hot. I don't want to go there. And that's just the water that hit me. Have a, have oh, a yeah. water never hit you. Yeah. And you accidentally touched the stove and the iron. You was ironing it, and you, you hit the steam button, and that steam hit, rolled off and burnt your fingers. Oh, my God. Good God Almighty. I don't know about you. I don't want to go to hell one day. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go to that hot place. Yeah. Because it's too hot for me to be there. And oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's too hot for you, too. But what I'm saying, we need to remain accountable to one another. Oh, yeah. You call me and encourage me. I'm going to call you and encourage you. Oh, yeah. Let's call one another and check on one another. Yes. Yeah. Let's see if you're up or you're down or yeah. you're cold or you're hot or whatever's going on. Oh, yeah. You might have a fever, but let me call you and pray for you. Yeah. yeah. You might just be hungry. You might need to feed you a little something. But you never know what people are going through. That's right. Because we've gotten to the point that where we don't have no accountability. We don't talk to one another like we used to. Yeah. All right, all right. Them old mother daddy, they'll talk with you. They'll call you. Yeah. Yeah. They'll check on you. you yeah. Say, right, brother? How you doing? You still serving the Lord? Yeah. And, and, and they speak something. Yeah. If you a little wrinkle on you, they'll have you back at the altar immediately. Oh, yeah. Does anybody know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Down on your knees. Yeah. You can say I don't even do nothing. But it did not matter. That's right. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with remembering the strength of the old and the yeah. old way. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Because a lot of us, it kept us and it made us who we are today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I thank the Lord for the old way how it used to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't have no problem with that. I ain't kicking yeah. that. Yeah. Amen. But God has given us some new things. Yeah. He might be talking to us. Yeah. 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 And so what we need to do is take the old and the new. Yeah. Amen. And put it together. Yeah. And then we can do some oh, super oh, 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 yeah. The body of Christ. It's different nowadays. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. It's different nowadays. You got people, they do it and everything. You got homosexuality. And I'm going to tell you, one day, pretty soon, pastors are going to probably be getting locked up. Mm. Before you know it, it's going to be a hate crime to even say it. Before you know you mark my words, they're going to pass it in the Congress one day. Mm-hmm. Amen. But you, if you preach it, we coming to get you. So we we gonna have to see who's really what side we on. Oh yeah. It's gonna go back like it used to be in the old days when they was going church to church and they just the house to house. Mm-hmm. They went in the sanctuary because they had to go and preach in the house. That's where the Christians would come and gather together. That's right. That's why we still do need the church. Yeah. I mean, that's why we still do oh, yeah. need the sanctuary. Yeah. So we can come back together and empower one another. Amen. And pray together and then go back out into the highway. Oh, the yeah. Highway yeah. Do what that says the Lord. All right. There's nothing wrong with the new way today. Oh, well, yeah. You need the house. You need a good house. Oh, yeah. You can come to yeah. a, a safe place. Yeah. A safe, safe place. place. Well, you know, I, uh, that brother is, uh, I'm a working pastor. And uh-huh. I thank God for that. Oh, and yeah. And now, uh, let me say this. There's nothing wrong with the man of God being taken care of. But I think and I believe that it should be done in moderation. All right. That's people right. People are watching us. Yeah. yeah. And so many people get caught up on, on the, uh, uh, the, the Porsche and, and, mm-hmm. and the Mercedes and the airplanes and all that stuff. And, and, and the body of Christ is suffering. Yeah. The body yeah. of Christ is suffering because they're looking at this. All right. Whatever happened to us keeping the focus on Jesus Christ? Oh, yeah. Do you really need all that stuff? The scripture even says, Mother, not the ox to trash the corn. Oh, yeah. So if you ever wonder, is it right, amen, to, to, to take care of the pastor? Yeah, yes. right. It amen. is right. And, and, and people of God that are doing the work in the will, there's nothing wrong with that. Amen. But what I'm saying is that we have to be wise mm-hmm. in how we receive. We have to be wise in how right. we do. Yeah. Yeah. Because we are the articles. We, we, when people see us, they're supposed to see God. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's what we want to see. It's not about my Mercedes. That's right. And, 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 and my talent is about this morning. Yeah. Go ahead. We, we done got too far off the focus, and people are looking at this stuff and the material thing. Oh, yeah. It's not that you're not preaching a powerful word. Go okay. ahead. But they're looking at the stuff you got. Yeah. And some people in the church are hurt. Yeah. And from people that lose it in and everything, yeah. all they see is the Go ahead. Go ahead. We got to be wise in the recession. Oh, we yeah. got to be wise in times like these. Yes, yes, yes. My God. My, my, my. Abuse number three, abuse and authority. Some Christians go against everything the pastor is trying to do. Yeah. Or say. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's some, it's, it's some Christians, it don't matter what the preacher say. They, they want to do the opposite. Mm. They can be on an auxiliary. And whatever that auxiliary would they decide, they, they, they just a minister to society. Oh, yeah. You ever know some Christians, you be in there, you, you the quiet do one thing, and that one sister, bro, they got their own thought process. <laughs> it don't matter what you say, oh, yeah. what you do, they want to do something different. Yeah. Right. And you got to pray that devil out. We got to start rebuking them. Yeah. Them. We have oh, to start yeah. praying things down. Amen. Because I believe that there's power in our words that we speak. Amen. And if we say the right thing, the power of the tongue is very, very uh, important and it's yes. strong. Amen. Yes. Amen. What you say, what you speak, how you, even your situations you're dealing with. What you say, you do you know you name your situation? Oh. Every time you go through something, you name in your situation. That's right. Be careful and think about it before you say a word. Oh, yeah. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. Yeah. You might be about to lose your house. You might be about to lose your car. But I don't care. Think about what you say. Oh, yeah. You say. Oh, yeah. Because God can be getting ready to give you something even better. Oh, God. yeah. But you done cursed yourself because you done said the wrong thing. My God. Let me testify a little bit right here. Me and my wife, we were going through so bad, nobody knew it. Nobody knew it. we done Go ahead. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. And God keep on giving us. Yes. And I ain't giving it off the church members because if you've been in my church, I don't have many members. Amen. But it, it's been nobody but God. Yeah. All right. yeah. And yeah. it's been what we say, how we speak. Whoa. Yeah. It's what we say out of our mouth. You yeah. You don't what you say. Yeah, all right. It's how you say it, how you react oh, to yeah. the situation you're in. Yeah. People that are going through this morning that are in bondage, people that are going through this recession, I want to encourage you this morning on the internet, oh, or, or on Facebook. I want yeah. you to know, hey man, what you say is very important. That's right. Think about it before you say it. I know, man, I know woman that is hard. I know you're going through. I know you think I'm probably even crazy right now. But I'm encouraging you and telling you, you can make it. Oh, yeah. You can make it. God might not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And me and my wife, amen, right when the bank was about to take the house. Oh, I yeah. Mean, right when they were oh, yeah. the My God. Oh, At yeah. the last moment, uh -huh. kids still doing stuff. Now, you know, we serve a powerful God. They, oh, they yeah. They don't even know what's going on. Uh -huh. All they know is they're playing football, basketball. We're keeping their mind right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. over here struggling. Yeah. We over here hurting. Oh, they don't yeah. even know the kids over here. Yeah. Going. A lot of times. But me and babe, we said, well, we, we, can't, we don't want their mind messed up. Yeah. We don't want to say nothing to them. Mm -hmm. but, and when we even in front of them, we're going to keep on smiling. Amen. We're still going to keep our head up. But, but uh, children, some, pray for your mom and daddy. That's yeah. right. You don't know what they go through. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. yeah God, sometimes just say, Daddy, you know what? I just want to come and say I love you. That's right. Mom, I just oh, want to yeah. say I love you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. You can't. You probably. You ain't got no job. You can't give us no money and all that. But just the wow. words that you say. Just your love and courtesy. Yes. When I'm getting up at four in the morning, it it it, it puts it makes me want to go a little bit more. Oh yeah. I say you know yeah. I can make it because my son said he loves. Yeah. My daughter told me that she loved me this morning, yeah. and I can go a little more. Oh little yeah. Long. Yeah. When I just when I done told me I feel like laying down. I don't want to go no more. I'm tired of getting up in the morning. Mm. My God. But the children don't be Oh, yeah. Okay. Amen. Just doing what you're supposed to do, that takes the pressure off mommy and daddy. When you do what you're supposed to do, amen, is this mic too loud, y'all? No. When you do what you're supposed to do, amen, it takes the pressure off mom and daddy. Oh, just, yeah. Just getting your schoolwork. Uh, going to school like you're supposed to. Pass <laughs> And move just a little bit of things. We That's right. That's right. You don't know that just blow. That just make us feel so oh, good. Yeah. Oh, Mama yeah. tell you to do something, you do it. Amen. And daddy say do something, you do it. Amen. Amen. That make us feel so good. Oh, because yeah. Because you never know what we're going through. Amen. That's right. And our kids didn't know that we were struggling like we was. And we ain't the only one because there's some other people that's been going yeah. through. Yeah. There's some other people that's been going through. But what I'm trying to tell the people that's been going through is that we decided, amen, to put our hands in the Lord's hands. Oh, well, yeah. Amen. We decided. Yeah. No matter what. No yeah. Way, no matter if the world is yeah. No matter we're going to keep each other, we're going to love on each other. We're going to love on the family. If we have to be yeah. the house. And then we're going to still please God. Yeah. We're going to keep on yeah. praising God. No matter what happens, we're going to praise God, number one. Number two, the family is going to stay together. And then at number three, we're going to keep on keeping them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't you give up. Don't throw the power in yet. Yeah. Now, I got to reverse it because sometimes, hey, amen, uh, some of us might need to get